What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Mark Chinoku, I'm a black belt on the Marcelo Garcia 5 time world champion, big us. On the lesson today, I'm gonna show you guys some good details how to play guard against bigger opponents, so how to stay away from getting smashed, how to, get, how to stay away without, without getting injured against bigger opponents, okay? So before we start into the, before we start into the lesson, I wanna ask you guys, what kind of guard that you guys like to play against bigger openings? So just comment uh, uh, on the on this video below, and I, I would really love to hear from you guys what kind of guard that you like to play when the opponent is bigger than you. Okay, okay, we're gonna start right here. Um, usually, it's very challenging when you 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 maybe can have like a stronger game, but when the person is really bigger than you, that kind of game doesn't work against the person that's bigger so, so in this uh, in this connection that I really like uh, I work against uh, uh, bigger guys bigger opponents is when I have a two and one grip so this way I feel like I'm controlling the person pretty much 100% because that will identify if the person push me against me I can cross the grip go to the back which we're gonna see in a second if the person move away to try drag me out I can knock the person down so take a look I'm gonna show you a few options so stick on the video okay so let's start from here uh, I can be in a close guard, right here, two and one grip. You can have a four fingers grip, just like this, or you can have the pistol grip, which I like a lot because I can control the person. So I can make this grip and then turn the hands in, and then I have my hands in the front, and these hands goes around the fabric of the gear right here, and then make grip and keep his arm under control. Okay, so it's gonna be on this, turn around. So it's gonna be like this, okay? I can have this grip and turn, or I can have the pistol grip and turn as well. So now I have this arm on the control. I bend this arm, so now, once I have the two-in-one grip right here, I can start opening up my game, my guard, okay? So I have the guard. So now, every time I get here, I have to understand what kind of reaction the person gave to me. So that's the good benefits of the two-in-one that I work against my opponent's reactions, okay? So from here, for example, I'm here, if you, I put my feet on the hip and he wants to start driving in, so move this way a little bit. If he's trying like, to drive into me, so this arm stay out of the way, so opposite side, I can, from here, if he starts pushing against me, I can use my foot right there, kick and cross the arm, and then from here, I sit up, get and stick, on the back right there, pull the person down, and then take the back right here, which is one of the great options from there when the person drive into you, okay? Could it be from here, two and one, the person stands up, for example, right here, and the person trying to push my leg down, I can easily pound my foot and play like a, you know, the reverse, uh, uh, the version of the collar sleeves, but now I have two and one control, like collar sleeve right here, I have a two in one, same idea right there. The person never will be able to cross and pass my guard because I'm here. He can circle around to the right. I keep this grip. He can circle to the right. Exactly. So from here, what I can do, two in one grip. Move this way. Another second option, the first things up is I gotta go under. I can hook this leg. I can go here. And I'm gonna go scoop right under. And go for the one leg axe position, okay, if you guys like to play one leg axe. From two and one, if the person stands up from here, I can go easy, one, two, tripod sweep against bigger guys, works really well. Just gonna go there, come up, and use this as a, a, a good connection against bigger guys. So, really, really depends of the person's reaction, which anybody can do it. Okay, white belts to a black belt, okay? So, pretty much it. So from here, I have this grip, right? If the person start walking away, because I'm here, the person start walking away, I can knock 
this base down and go to mount using this grip okay so detail number three right here if the person two and one here and the person start walking back i can just knock boom go to mount okay so i can go to the back if the person stands up i can go under one leg x number two and they can go to the side at the tripod so number three actually and then number four i can take the person down so that's really four reactions right there really easy and good control for the two and one and also and once again if the person stands up from the two and one i'm here if the person starts circling around i just bring my hip up the person cannot even the person posture up this grip is really hard for the person to break okay and then gives a lot of options so so this way for a second i can use this hook I can use this hook, right? I can use from here, there, and push against the person. So it really depends what the person give it to you. But in my opinion, two and one would be a really good option to play against bigger opening because they cannot put uh, pressure on you. And if the person move away, that's when your attack comes into it. So, which is really, really good. Um, two in one grip, manage how you position your feet. Feet on the hip can be a feet on the bicep, just keep the person active, right? And then really pay attention where, um, where the person is going. If you go to the right, to the left, you keep the hooks in. If the person moves away from you, you can also chase getting under. And if the person moves in, take the back, go uh, around the that around the back and, and seat belt right away so two in one grip it's a great options okay so and don't forget uh to write it on the comment what kind of guard do you guys like it so i'm curious to see it and if you guys want to see more videos like this with small detail make sure you subscribe and don't don't miss the, la the latest video right there okay so thank you so much and also if you want to check it out, my instructionals at bjfanatics.com. I'm going to put it right on the description of the link below. So, you guys, go there and check it out. There is amazing uh, instructionals for you guys right there as well. Thank you so much.